Okay, everybody, uh, welcome to class. Uh, you know, today we're going to talk about uh, some math. I know a lot of people hate math. I know they think that math is gay, but too bad. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about math. All right, so I want you guys to think for a moment, oh, you know, we're going to talk about math. So let's erase the crap that's on the board now. We don't need this here. We don't need it. Um, we just need to talk about our assignment for the day and what we're going to be doing today. So you guys love math. Come on. Just say it out loud. You love math. Well, today we're going to do some math on the whiteboard. So I'm going to give you a simple math problem. You're going to write it on your papers after I put it on the board. Got it? All right, let's go. So, nine times four. Write that on your board right now. What's nine times four? So you're gonna write the answer on your, what, and you're gonna write it on your paper. You're gonna put the problem nine times four and you're gonna put what the answer is after you do that. All right, so do that now. And um, I'll call on some volunteers. What do you think nine times four is, everybody? All right, uh, so you guys have the answers. All right, Katerina, what'd you put down? What's nine times four? It's, it's um, 36. Yes, good job. Nine times four equals 36. So we talked about this the other day where we were learning about certain math problems, right? And we talked about multiplication and how certain answers can be different. So what else equals 36? Let's think about it. So we got nine times four, that equals 36, right? But think about something else that might equal. All right, so does anybody have any questions about our math lesson for the day? Sarah, what's your question? Do you have any questions? What do you um, want to ask? Um, can I write these answers on my piece of paper so I can get extra credit? Sure, Sarah. You can add these to your paper if you want. I'll leave them on the board for you, and you can put them on your paper. All right? Felicity, what's your question? Uh, so I wanted to know if I could, um, like, you know make up my own problem. Oh, sure, Felicity, of course you can add your own problem. You know, Katerina mentioned earlier that nine times four equals 36. She gave us this answer, right? Do all of you agree that Katerina helped us give us 36? She helped us out. We know that nine times four is 36. We know that 12 times three is 36. And we know that six times six is also 36. So today we learned about those three multiplication problems and they all equal 36. All right, does everybody understand the lesson for the day? All right, no questions? Does anybody have any questions before we move on? Okay, good. So our next lesson we're gonna talk about division and what we Okay, everyone, today we're going to do some quick division problems. Does anybody know what division is? All right, Abby, what do you think division is? Oh, I know what division is. It's like when you, you know, it's the opposite of multiplication. Exactly. Division is exactly what you just said, Abby. It's the opposite of multiplication. So let's think about it in our heads first. Let's think. So, for example, 9 times 3, what's that? It's 27, right? So, if 9 times 3 equals 27, then what do you think 27 divided by 3 equals? Katerina, what do you think? It's 9! Yes! 27 divided by 3 equals 9. Because it's, you know, basically the opposite of multiplying. You just mix it up a little bit. That's how we figure out division problems. Try to think of a multiplication problem and then try to get it 
to math the division. And that might give you clues. And we just kind of did that here today. Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, the bell's going to ring in a few seconds, so I got to, you know, end the class for today. But next time we're going to talk about some science. I hope you enjoyed today's math lesson, everybody. Um, hope all of you have a great rest of your day today. We're going to talk more next time, okay? Are there any further questions about the math we did today? Any questions? No questions, all right? You guys are dismissed. I want you all to have a great day. And remember, it's never too late to shine. It's never too, you know, late to do nothing in here, bro. So, you know, just, I want you girls to have the best Felicity day ever. And we're gonna do some more math. Red Felicity. You guys are free to go, bros. You guys are free to get out of here and, you know, do whatever you wanna do, man. I said it, fellas. I said it. You got a freaking crazy teacher here with no shoes on. <laughs> you know, I'm so weird, bro. But you guys just learned a lot of math today.